Here's how to crop an image into a shape in Google Slides. This is also known as image masking. So basically I have this image here and I can easily crop this into a shape by clicking on the drop down next to the crop icon. Then you can select whatever shape you want to crop the image into and there you go. Here's how to set an automatic start and stop time for videos in Google Slides. I edit this video from YouTube by clicking insert video. So now when I right click on the video, I'm going to select format options. This will bring up a sidebar and right up at the top under video playback, you can set what time you want the video to start and end. So now when you play the video, it'll automatically start and stop at the time you specified. Here's a really easy way to add a countdown timer on Google Slides. This one's actually just a video from YouTube. So all I have to do is come up to the top where it says insert and then select video. This will launch a pop-up and I'm just gonna type in five minute timer. You can type in really any increment of time and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of options. Some of them count down silently, some of them count down with music, so it's kind of, you know, a matter of what you prefer. And then all you have to do is kind of arrange it on your slide and you're good to go. Okay, this is one of my favorite tricks ever. This is how to add a clickable text box for students in Google Slides. Here's a regular text box that isn't clickable. Basically, students have to delete the text before typing and that can be annoying, so here's a cool trick to use instead. Just open a new slide and copy the text box that says click to add text. And then you can just paste that wherever you want students to type. Then of course you can change the font too. I like covered by your own grace because it kind of looks like handwriting. And that's it. Here's how to make your Google Slides look better, AKA how to add a drop shadow. So here's what the shapes look like without the drop shadow. It's not bad, but it could be better. So to add a drop shadow, all you have to do is right click and select format options. This will bring up a sidebar and you're gonna check the box next to drop shadow. And there you go. It's a small change, but it really does make a big difference. This is one of my most used keyboard shortcuts in Google Slides. It's bring to front and then send to back. So if you have a Mac, you're gonna press command shift and then up or down arrow and control shift up or down arrow for a PC or Chrome. You can also right click on the object, click order and then send to back, but the keyboard shortcut is quicker, so do that instead. Did you know that Google has an extended font library with a ton more fonts than what you see in your own font dropdown menu? All you have to do is come up here to your font dropdown and select more fonts. This will launch a pop-up and on one side, you're gonna see all of the fonts that are currently in your font library. And on the other side, you're gonna see all of the fonts in Google's library. If you see a font you like, just check it. This will add it to your font library and you'll be able to use it when you close out of the pop-up. You can also filter fonts for specific features like serif, sans serif, or handwriting. Or you can sort them by popularity, alphabetical, date added, or trending. Enjoy. Here's how to add animated snow on Google Slides. First, Google Snow GIF Transparent and save the GIF to your device by right-clicking on the image. Then click Insert Image and Upload from Computer. And that's it. Enjoy! Did you know that you could change the slide dimensions in Google Slides? All you have to do is come up to the File menu and select File, and then scroll all the way down to where it says Page Setup. This will launch a pop-up, and you can see that the current default is 16 by 9. But you could also change this back to, let's say, 4 by 3, which used to be the standard, or you could select Custom. So let's say I wanna make this slide the same size as a piece of paper. I'll type in eight and a half by 11, then click apply and there you go. Here's another one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Google Slides, it's Control D or Command D for duplicate. You can obviously copy and paste with Control C, Control V, but that's four clicks on your keyboard and Control D is only two clicks. So do that instead.